The Beaver Builder team is excited to announce the launch of the Assistant Plugin's new code app, a versatile and powerful tool designed to streamline your coding workflow and make managing code snippets in WordPress easier than ever before. The code app allows you to create, edit, and manage CSS and JavaScript code snippets for WordPress all in one place and from the front end of your site. In this video, I will introduce you to Assistant's code app and show you how to easily add new snippets, assign them to specific sections of your WordPress site, and control their activation status. In addition, I'll share with you some handy features of the code app, including duplicating, exporting, and saving snippets to Assistant Pro libraries. Ready to see it in action? Let's walk through adding a code snippet to your WordPress site. To get started, we will need to open the code app in Assistant. If you haven't already, go ahead and install and activate the Assistant plugin. I'll drop a link to download the Assistant plugin in the description below this video. Once installed, open the Assistant sidebar by clicking on the Assistant link in the top navigation or the pencil icon located on the front end of your site. Navigate to Apps and Settings, then click on Code in the list of apps. Note that if you want the code app icon to display in the sidebar, you can reorder the apps by dragging the code app up higher in the list. Now we are ready to create our first code snippet. In this example, let's add a nice zoom in hover effect to this photo module. Since we're adding CSS code, we will need to be sure the CSS tab is selected. Next to the CSS tab, you will find a tab to add JavaScript code. In the title section, Give your snippet a unique title. I like to use something descriptive. So for this example, I'm going to call it photo module, hover, zoom in, then click the arrow button to advance to the next section. In the optional description section, you can explain what the code is being used for or any other important information for you or your team to remember. Below that is the code block where we can paste in our code snippet. Scroll down to the location section and assign the status and rules to your snippet. For status, you can toggle to enable or disable the status of your code snippet. I'd like this snippet to apply to the entire site. So from the dropdown, I'll select entire site. You can also click add rule to enable additional rules. And lastly, once you have finished adding your code snippet within the code app, click the update button located in the upper right hand corner to save your changes. Note that you might need to refresh your page for the changes to take effect. But that's not all. The code app also lets you duplicate, export, save to a library, or delete your snippets. Let's head back to our code app and take a look at some more features. Scroll down past the location section to find options within the action section. The duplicate button creates an exact copy of the current code snippet. Save to library stores snippets in the cloud with Assistant Pro. In the pop-up, you'll need to click to connect to Pro and either log in or click to register a free account on the next page. Then you can select which library you'd like to save your snippet to. In this example, I'm going to save it to my code snippets library. Note that when you save a snippet to a library, it does not save the location you assigned the snippet. This simply means that when you import a snippet from a library into a new WordPress site, you will then need to assign the snippet to a location. The export button will save the code snippet as an external file. The delete button will permanently remove your snippet from Assistant. You will see a confirmation message to ensure you want to delete the snippet because this action cannot be undone. Now, when you click on the code app icon, you will see all of your code snippets in list view and all in one location. While in list view, you have the ability to toggle individual snippets on and off without the need to edit each one separately. If a snippet is disabled, you will see disabled. And if it's enabled, you will see enabled with a green dot. You can quickly toggle it by clicking on that indicator. You can also duplicate or delete a code snippet while in list view. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video useful, be sure to hit the like button and click to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on our upcoming videos. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.